Hello everyone and welcome back to your ninth C++ tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you about something called arrays in C++. Now what arrays are, they're a piece of data, a, like a variable, but it can hold more than one piece of data at a time. So for example if you wanted to have an integer, for example if we just create one here called number, or num, and if we wanted this to hold say uh, 10 pieces of data, um, what we'd normally have to do is create 10 different variables, but with arrays we can put in square brackets a number, so in this case 10, and this is how many pieces of data this will hold. So now, what this, uh, ver what this array will do will hold 10 pieces of data like a variable will. So now what we can do is we can say uh, int, uh, not int, num, and then 0, because it starts counting at 0, equals 10 and then say num 1 equals 20 and num 2 equals 30 just for example and now if we scroll down a bit and just display num 0 then num1 and num2 so now hopefully if we build and run this we can see we get 10, 20 and 30 display and all of these were saved within the same variable well an array so um, now some of the, we can change a few things in this code to make it a bit more efficient now um, the first thing that we're going to change is the way that we stored the data. So uh, the way that we did it here is to write out each individual one, like num0, num1, num2. And this will get a bit tedious if you say it has an array that would hold 100 pieces of data. So if you just delete all of these, what we can do is we can build it similar to an if statement or a loop where if we uh, give it a body like this, and just put the equal sign back in here and now we can type in 10, 20, 30 and if we build this and uh, as you can see we get no errors so this is a much easier way to create arrays and store information in them and the second thing that I'd like to show you, which uh, you can use to make it more efficient, is how to display it. So the way that we did it before is to see out and then num0, num1, num2, num3. This again gets a bit tedious, so we can use a loop to continuously display all the data that's in it. So if we just fill this up, up to 100, So we've got 10 pieces of data in there. We can then create a for loop which will display each piece of data. So if we create an integer and x equals a 0, x is less than 10 because there's 10 pieces of data, and then x plus plus. So now in this loop what we want to do is display num. But which part of num do we want to display? Well, what we want to do is display the x amount of it. So what this will do is the first time that we run it, it will display num0, then the second time it will display num1, then num2, then num3, etc. Until we get all the way all the way up to num9. This is less than 10, not equal to 10. So now if we actually just end the line, so they're all on separate lines, and build and run this. As you can see, we get 10 through 100. So thanks for watching this short tutorial on arrays. And I hope you understood this on how it's easy to store multiple pieces of data within one uh, integer, which is an array. And I also hope that you understood how we can use a for loop to display it all out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and there'll be more C++ tutorials up in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.